Next, we will begin rec recognition and presentation of awards. When your name is called, please come forward to be recognized and remain up front until you are photographed. As all of you know, 4-H would not be possible without the hard work of many people. Sometimes we are so busy, we forget how much it takes to make this all possible. So today, we will take time to recognize and remember not only all the members and leaders, but also volunteers, sponsors, and countless others from the local, state, and national level that oversees 4-H through, through extension programs. Last but not least, this includes our, our own agent, Hannah Norby and her staff. Thank you again to everyone for your time and dedication to the Adams County Youth. We will begin by recognizing our volunteers. Volunteers, as I, your, as I announce your name, please come down to receive your certificate and be recognized. Eric Schuler, Dave Pearson, Katie Parker, and Callan Mack. Unfortunately, Dave, Katie, and Callan are unable to make it, but we want to thank you all for doing what you do. Will Bode and Hasbro come up to present the next round of awards? Now for, the, now for the days and completed years recognition. Please be aware we are doing things different this year and will recognize everyone one club at a time. This will include leaders, Clover Buds, members, and their awards from the fair. Completed years recognition all given with one trip up front. When, you name, when your name is called, please come forward and receive your pins and awards. Get your picture taken and then we will move to the next person. Here we go with the Adventures Club. The leaders are Stephanie Kennedy with a two-year pin, Joy Lawfer with a five-year pin, and Rhonda Shower with a nine-year pin. Sorry, what? Next are the Clover Buds, Rylan Ayler, Claire Kennedy, Rachel Random, and Jake Kessel. Now for the members, Shada Shock with a one-year pin, Reese Ehlers with a one-year pin, and he won Junior Creative Arts and Junior Dairy Goat. Then we have Rebecca Random with her one-year pin. Sydney Wolf with her one-year pin. Liam Kennedy with his second-year pin. And then Courtney Shower with her three year pin, and she won Market Lamb. Then we have Drew DeShock with her four year pin, Kayla Shower with her four year pin, her junior goat showmanship, and her junior rabbit showmanship.
than Sophia Kennedy with her five-year pin, her breeding you, her breeding guilt, and her junior overall showmanship. Then Blake Larson with his five-year pin and junior, his junior showmanship. Logan Ebert with his six-year pin, Oscar Lawfer with his six-year pin, his crop production, and Margaret Hogg. Kelly Shower with her six-year pin. Jocelyn Wolf with her six-year pin. Tatum Fitch with her seven-year pin, her breeding meat doe, her breeding meat buck, market meat goat, senior goat showmanship, and her heifer. Katie Shower with her seven-year pin and her market goat. Beth Lean with her nine-year pin, her senior sheep showmanship. Caden Shower with his nine-year pin. And then thank you for the, the adventurers. Now we have the go-getters. The leader is Dave Nash with his seven-year pin. Uh, one clover bud who is Rain Sodheim. And then we go to the me members, Madeline Nash with her junior horticulture and floriculture. Stone Sodheim with his three-year pin. Dylan Nash with his market lamb. Kyan Stodheim with her five-year pin. Kinley Stodheim with her five-year pin. Her junior clothing and textiles, junior food and nutrition. Thank you, go-getters. Next, we'll have the East Adams Rough Riders. The leaders consist of Colton Demjanovic with his two-year pin, Judy Larson with her four-year pin, and Sarah Weishauer with her 13-year pin. Clover buds are Chloe Campbell, Seeger Demjanovic, Boyd Wells, Earl Wells, and Rylan Wells. The members consist of Sienna Peterson with her one-year pin, Sutton Peterson with her one-year pin, Tatum Campbell with a two-year pin and a junior outdoor skills. Anna Larson with her two-year pin. Joseph Larson with a five-year pin in market beef. Sam Weishauer, five-year pin, junior showmanship, junior beef showmanship. Kestrel Demjanovic with a six-year pin, senior animal science, senior pets and cats, dog obedience, rabbit overall, senior rabbit showmanship, dairy goat, senior dairy goat showmanship. Eli Larson with a seven-year pin and senior electricity. Rachel Larson, nine-year pin, senior photography. Lauren Weishauer with a 10-year pin, feeder lamb, senior beef showmanship, and senior overall. Madison Weishauer with her 10-year pin. And that'll be it for the Rough Riders. And now we have the next announcer. Will Kyan Stodheim please come forward to present the next round of awards? A uh, quick intermission um, for a couple of you. If I didn't get your RSVP ahead of time, we did not bring your awards down, but I still want you to come up to be recognized and everything because I think that's important. And then we'll make sure to get those awards to you later this week and everything. So thanks for rolling with the punches. that they have and they have the one at um the fair. Are you can you like hand it here? Yep. And then can do all this? No, then you'll also do all of this. But you just read the script and it'll be exactly how it's supposed to be, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. And don't um a lot of people aren't here, so just don't wait for people to come up. Just kind of keep reading things. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you'll do it with this paper, okay? Yep. Okay. This is high points. So if you need anything, you can stop. Finally, we have the High Plains, High Plains Club. The leaders are 
Bridget Shower with a three-year pin, and Christy Holzer with a four-year pin. Then we have the Clover Buds, which is Olivia Hasbrook. The members are Kalia Olson with a three-year pin, Junior Photography, Junior Fiber Arts, and Junior Woodworking. Then we have Trevor Daly with a four-year pin, Junior Poultry Showmanship. We have Bowden Hasbrook with a four-year pin and Senior Swine Showmanship. We have Riley Hasbrook with a four-year pin and poultry. Julia Daly with an eight-year with a six-year pin, senior creative arts, senior horticulture, senior food and nutrition, and senior poultry showmanship. Then we have Mitchell Daly with a six-year pin, and Lathan Holzer with a six-year pin and senior woodworking. Thank you, High Plains. Special recognitions. We would now like to present project pins. To qualify for a project pin, you must apply for it using your yearbook. You must complete two years in project area, including current year for the Adams County Fair. The applicant also must have given two demonstrations, talks, or lessons in the project area in Adams County. Please come up to accept your project pin as we call your name. Once you receive your pin, move to the 4-H flag and banner for a photo. Project pins. Senior pins go to GOAT, which is Logan Ebert. Woodworking, Logan Ebert and Lathan Holzer. Achievement, Katie Shower and Logan Ebert. Caden Shower, Oscar Lauffer. Leadership, Blake Larson and Katie Shower. Junior pins go to Goat, which is Courtney Shower, and Sheep, which is Courtney Shower. Now we want to say a huge thank you to the Farm Credit Services of Mott for supporting, for sponsoring the clovers and the pins for this year's banquet. One other intermission note for everybody. If you look on the bottom of your trophies, you will see that there is an address. That address goes to the sponsor of your trophy and there's also a thank you card attached. So none of you have any excuse for not getting your thank you cards out to our sponsors. So that's your lecture for the day. Make sure you show your appreciation for the community showing their support for you because that's really important to express our gratitude and everything. Next is the Extension Youth Conference Awards. The Extension Youth Conference is a four-day camp held in June and put on by the North Dakota State 4-H Ambassadors. Participants build on by the North Dakota State 4-H Ambassadors. Participants build on leadership skills, create lasting friendships, give back to others through service projects, experience North Dakota ambassador elections, and engage in exciting workshops. Due to COVID, this year's conference was held virtually and three delegates represented Adams County. They are Senior Oscar Lauffer, congratulations, please stand and be recognized. Ellie Larson, congratulations, please stand and be recognized. And Joe Larson, congratulations. Range Camp Awards Soil con con Conservation Sponsored Scholarship. Every year, the Adams County Soil con Conservation District Board sponsors one 4-H member to attend Range Camp in June, held at the Lodging Camp Ranch. Over the course of four days, campers learn basic range management, especially relating to cattle and wildlife. Campers learn rangeland principles, including plant ID, soil texturing, and evaluating sites for proper management techniques. This year, two repre represents were selected, and they are Riley Hasbrook and Blake Larson. Please stand and be recognized. The Beginner Achievement Award is for ages 8 through 10 years old and by application only. 
All members in this age group will be considered with a one-time winner, the sponsor for the Beginner Achievement Award is the Bard Johnson family. Again, two winners for this year's Beginner Achievement Award, and they are Courtney Shower and Anna Larson. Please stand and be recognized. <laughs> the sponsor for the Home Ec Trophy is Barb Rose. To qualify for the trophy, you must have completed a Home Ec project for the 2020 Adams County Fair. These are no, there are no age restrictions. The Home Ec Trophy is awarded by application only. This year's representative is Courtney Shower. Congratulations, please come and accept your award. And now Hannah come up to announce the final round of awards. Okay, for our last round of awards, um, Courtney, you get, you won another award too. Bringing home all the hardware today. Perfect. Okay, so moving on, for the honor award, the honor award is a very special award. Each year, the leaders from each club choose one of their own members to be selected. The member is chosen on their accomplishments for the year, not only in placing at the fair, but how much they help their club and all of the members who are in 4-H. A positive, cheerful attitude and willingness to help others are only a few of the qualities that the Honor Award recipient possesses. The Honor Award trophy is sponsored by Warren and Sherry Wick. This year we have, we had such a great I mean, we really do have some phenomenal 4-H members in Adams County, and this year we decided instead of just doing one honor award, we would hand out a senior honor award and a junior honor award. So this year, this year's senior honor award goes to Katie Shower. Congratulations, and please come up to accept your award. I know I really appreciate Katie because if I ever need any help or anything like that, I can always count on her to step up to the plate and help out. So congrats again. This year's Junior Honor Award goes to Rebecca Ranham. Congratulations and please come up to accept your award. I know every time I see Rebecca, she has a huge smile on her face and we are so happy that the Ranham family is a part of our 4-H program. Moving on, the next award we will present is the Key Club Award. This award is presented to only 1% of the county enrollment. Youth selected have exhibited outstanding work in the club and county 4-H program. Recipients must be 16 years or older and can only be awarded to, it can only be awarded to a recipient once. This year's winner is Rachel Larson. Congratulations, please come up to accept your award. Now we'll move on to the Junior and Senior Communication Choice Awards. The Junior Communication Choice Trophy is sponsored by KB Jewelers and the Senior Communication Choice Trophy is sponsored by West River Insurance Agency. To be eligible for the Communication Choice Award, you must have participated in any of the following activities. Communication Arts, Project Expo, Fashion Review, or Consumer Choice judging at club, county, district, or state level. The Communication Choice Trophy is awarded by application only. The recipient of the Junior Communication Choice Trophy is Anna Larson. Congratulations. And the recipient of the Senior Communication Choice Award trophy is Eli Larson. Congratulations. We will now move on to the Outstanding Junior Members. This award was originally sponsored by the Junior Leaders Group way back when. When they were disbanded, they turned the monies over to the current Adams County 4-H Leaders Council to use to sponsor the Outstanding Junior Member Award. 
The recipient is a junior member who shows leadership, responsibility, and always has a positive attitude. Outstanding junior mem members will receive a $25 gift certificate, or $25 from the 4-H Leaders Council. And again, we had such an amazing group, or we have such an amazing group of 4-Hers that we couldn't just pick one. Um, and this year, we'll, we are handing out um, two of these awards. The first outstanding junior member goes to Sophia Kennedy. Congratulations, and please come up to accept your award. I know Sophie is all very active at our club level, as well as participating in other county events, and so she's a great representation of um, Adams County 4-H. The next outstanding junior member is Joe Larson. Congratulations. We'll move on to our outstanding senior members. Um, a cliff note is that we have the trophy. We did not have time to get it engraved. So Caden, take a picture with the trophy and then return it to the table and then we'll get it back to you with your name on it. Well, and I just messed that up, so. Congratulations, Caden. <laughs> But the winner of the Outstanding Senior Award is a senior member of 4-H who is chosen based on their overall achievement as a 4-H member. This member always has a positive attitude, they're always willing to help out and demonstrate responsibility. Outstanding Senior Members are, is also a positive role model for younger members of 4-H as the senior member is always there for them, guiding them with projects and anything else they might need. The winners will be awarded with the Rose Markyguard Memorial Traveling Trophy. It's theirs to keep for one year. This year, there are two recipients of the award, and those outstanding senior members are Rachel Larson and Caden Shower. And again, Caden does a great job. He's always, you ask him to do anything, and he'll jump at the opportunity to help you out. So we really appreciate it. Huh. Now, if Eric Schuler could come up to help present the shooting sports recognition. This year, it was super exciting. There's always been a lot of interest, from my understanding, about starting up a shooting sports program. But really, 4-H is not possible without all of our phenomenal volunteers. And if Eric hadn't stepped up to the plate to help um, you know, facilitate those practices, it really would not have been possible. So thank you a million times over, Eric. Um, we just have some certificates to hand out to all of those members. Um, and I believe the ones that are here should be Bonin Hashbrook, Riley Hashbrook, um, Tatum Fitch, and I think those were the only, okay. Eric, would you like to say a few words about the program or anything? I just, just nice that it got going. Yeah, well, we hopefully will be starting um, practices in December. I will be figuring out those details next week and sending out emails and having Facebook posts and stuff like that. I will say the super duper exciting news is we did some fundraising and I put in an order earlier this month to purchase supplies and so we have some targets and new bows and um, other supplies on their way in. So again, that was really awesome to see the community support there and we're just hoping to have another successful year. So keep it on your calendar. Be on the lookout for that announcement. Thank you, Eric. We'll move on to the livestock judging recognition. And unfortunately, Dave couldn't be here with us today. But he says that he really wishes he could have. But he, he said, Hannah, I think you can do a great job handing out this award. So, um, But you know, Dave has a lot of pride in the livestock judging team. And there are lots of great volunteers, again, that help out with that, with Katie Parker and Kellen Manthe, and that 
really would not be possible without their assistance and everything. Um, again, Dave is always encouraging um, members that if you have a little bit of an interest in livestock judging, um, you know, we are always willing to willing and encourage people to come out and try it out, even if it's just for a year or for practice, you might find out that you really enjoy it and like it. So um, again, hopefully we will be able to start those practices the end of December, beginning of January and everything. So just be on the lookout for emails and postcards from me. But this year's Outstanding Livestock Judger is awarded to a member that you know, I've had the opportunity to watch and grow as he becomes, you know, he's always trying his best. He is, it, and it's just been a lot of fun to see him make improvements over the years and everything. So without further ado, um, the Outstanding Livestock Judger Award goes to Oscar Laffer. Perfect. Um, thank you, Tatum and Bowden, for helping. You guys can sit down now. Um, I will now welcome our 4-H Leader Council President, Joy Lawfer, to announce our next award. I'm gonna cheat here and take my mask off because I'm fogging up and um, I'm not a good speech speaker. So I have my um, notes here because I wasn't going to memorize this because it was written by a 4-H member, Madison Weishauer, who is not here today. Otherwise, she would have been reading this. Before I get into this, um, I think we need to give a big round of um, applause to Hannah and Art for all the work that they do for us, helping the leaders throughout the 4-H year. Get your picture taken. <laughs> okay, um, we were a little surprised today. Oscar and I were a little bit late because I received a phone call as we were on our way here. And um, as many of as many of you know already, um, John Jupman was with the 4-H program for many, many, many years. His dedication is unsurpassed. 50 years is a very long time to put time and effort into all of you, all of your parents, and other counties, and even into the state of South Dakota. So the phone call I received was from the Jupman family. And they are here today. And we have um, Connie, who is his sister-in-law, if you wouldn't mind standing, Connie. And we have Luella, his mother. Thank you so much for coming. We so I'll go ahead and read what Madison wrote now. And uh, if you have any stories to share with the Jupmans as you're walking out today, that would be wonderful. I know we all have many, so. A mentor, an advisor, a friend, a teacher, a role model. John Jupman was all of these and so much more. John Jupman unexpectedly passed away on March 4th of 2020. If there's one thing people remember about him and his legacy, it's that he had a huge heart for many things. His love for sheep and 4-H ran deep both playing large roles in his life. Serving as a 4-H leader for 50 record years, John influenced the lives of many youth, whom of which he referred to as his own. John Jupman generally cared about the young people and strived to help them learn and grow. He spent countless hours helping the 4-H youth of Adams County and nearby areas excel to their fullest potential. Judging livestock shows, teaching youth the keys to showmanship, Photography, helping the environment by planting trees were some of John's many talents. He was always the first to lend a hand where needed, provide encouragement, or share his years of wisdom with leaders, volunteers, and young leaders. 
he upheld the truest definition of selflessness. It is extremely difficult to put into words the impact of John's volunteerism and the lives he touched. His passing has left a huge void in the East Adams Rough Riders 4-H Club and surrounding communities. As the county fairs and a nearby livestock shows have come to close for this year, it is evident the 4-H community was missing a piece, missing a piece of their puzzle, and that was being John's presence. We will never be able to replace the man he was or come close to living life as, as if he were here, but we will remember his, him and his legacy, a legacy that lives on through the smiling faces of 4-H youth and adults that he had the opportunity to impact within his lifetime. We do have a 50-year pin for John in his memory we're going to give to you. And we, we normally have a plaque, but they put it on a trophy this year, so thank you. I just want to say a few words to everyone. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I will come across like an old lady. I know. You take a good look. I am. But I, too, in Adams County 4 h -er from long ago. <laughs> and I wanted you to know that John always and forever referred to his kids. And I said, okay, who do you mean your kids? You were never married, you don't have any. He said, but I've got more than any of my brothers and sisters do. I've got a lot of kids. Any kid that ever had anything to do with John and 4-H was his kid. And he was proud of it. And he shared you often with family. And I thought, as a thank you to Adams County, to Adams County 4-Hers, Adams County 4-Hers to come, et cetera, et cetera. You are special. I think Adams County is special. I too am an Adams County kid, way back when. But that's okay. My, when I got grown up, I thought I was, and got married, I married a 4-H County kid. And his mother was a 4-H leader in Adams County, long before I was even thought of, <laughs> and so on. So we have, the Jubin family definitely is, has been, will be a 4-H family. You're all special. Thank you for working with John. He loved working with you. We all miss John. We still haven't put final clothing to many, many things. And there's still me, John may still be popping up every once in a while, but that's okay too, because he will never forget you. You will probably never forget him. In the meantime, I say, God bless you. Just be a 4-H kid be a John's kid or whatever, but continue on with the head, heart, hands, health. We all need all four of those parts to exist. And I am so grateful and so thankful that John was able to do it for 50 years. And with that, I say thank you, Adams County.
thank you. If I give you a hug, I have to stand up. Thank you so much for coming. And I chose not to have my mouth covered. Again, thank you to the Jupman family for taking time to come here. And John, I know, was a huge mentor for me. Whenever I had any sort of question, and trust me, being an extension agent your first year is like a fire hydrant, and it's just like blowing water at you 365 days. And, um, and John was just such an amazing person that I could call up and any question I had, or if I was wondering how it's been done in the past, he always, had some sort of history to tell me, and I really appreciate it. And there was many times this year where I was like, oh, I really wish John was here because I could really lean on somebody right now for some advice or some guidance and everything. So thank you again. He will be missed. This wraps up um, the awards banquet for the eve or afternoon, I should say. A couple quick announcements for everybody before I send you on your way. You know, again, thank you for coming. Um, remember, hopefully be on the lookout for announcements relating to shooting sports and livestock judging. If you haven't re-enrolled for the 4-H year, please do that. That needs to be done by the end of the month. And it's just super important because it helps make sure that at the office, it helps me be organized so I know who is in 4-H, who needs to be getting emails and updates or postcards or whatever. And so really, um, you're just helping me say, stay sane by re-enrolling and everything. So I appreciate that. Um, I won't lecture you anymore about it. Um, if you do have any troubles with that, I will say though, like art has been super helpful to folks straightening things out. We've got a new system this year and there might be some kinks we have to work out, but we will work them out. Um, the last two announcements I have is just that we have extra project guides. So if you're kind of wondering what projects should I be doing this year or what can I even do in 4-H, those project guides are super helpful. I know when I was flipping through it, sometimes I'm amazed. I'm like, that's a 4-H project? I didn't even know that was a project area. And like Leon Kennedy, he was going to show, um, exhibit a project relating to family history. And it just amazes me all the different opportunities that 4-H has, which I think is saying something because it's my job to know all these things and I definitely don't know all that stuff. But so there's that. And then we also have copies of the Adams County rules and guidelines. And I just made extra copies there because in the first couple pages, I know 4-H can be super overwhelming and there's a lot of due dates to remember. And so as you open up the first couple pages, there's a timeline about important due dates and things to remember. And there's just lots of good information if, again, you're kind of overwhelmed and you need something to like, you know, read before bed or something like that. So uh, thank you again. Congratulations to all the awards winners. One last thank you to the Adams County 4-H leaders. 4-H members, make sure that you thank your leaders for all the time that they put into the program and everything. It, again, would not be possible without them. As well as thanking Farm Credit Services of Mott, or of Mandan, it's the Mott branch, and they sponsored the awards tonight, the, all the pins that you got, they sponsored that. And hopefully we had to postpone the portion of us being able to get together and watch a movie, but we'll be postponing that just to a later date where we can, um, sorry, um, where we can all get together and maybe just have a, a fun day or afternoon because it's been kind of a wompy year and everything like that. But let's get through 2020 and then we'll, we'll, we'll send out another postcard. Um, but yeah, thank you again. On your way out, there are lots and lots and lots of 4-H masks with the cute little clover on there. Um, the Leaders Council sponsored those masks and everything, and so grab one, grab two, maybe just grab one. Um, but, you know, show off your 4-H clovers and everything like that. Um, but I think that's all I have. 
thank you again and um, have a wonderful rest of your day.